Justin, thanks for joining us on the show, man. And you're in uh, Melbourne, is that right? Yes, I just got into uh, Melbourne this afternoon. So just kick it back at the hotel until we fly out tomorrow morning. Where are you flying to? P- Perth? So, yeah, start the tour on Friday. So I'll fly out to Perth tomorrow, Friday in Fremantle on Saturday at a club called Hornography. Um, and then fly back on Sunday. Dicey. You've got to say hi to yeah. Dicey for me. Yeah, that's right. Yep, yep. yep. <laughs> that's his his club. Yeah. Have you been there before? Played there? Oh, I haven't, man. I'm I'm fanging to get down there, but uh, I I know that crew. They're a good crew. Yeah, yeah. We haven't been to Perth. I reckon last time we went there was like six, seven years ago. Like it's been a long, long time. So excited to get back there. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. That's gonna it's gonna be. Yeah. Cool. Of course, you know, uh, you're about to hit the road on this massive tour uh, called Hate from Pain, and uh, yep. it's with Xenobiotic and and Zeolite. Now, this is your first run in a little while, right? Yeah, so we uh, we did our own Australian tour and we dropped the album in, in July last year. Yeah. So this is the first tour, sort of big tour since then. That was sort of just a small run, just sort of Sydney, sort of come back, coming back down to Melbourne. This one's uh, a fair few more shows sort of involved, but yeah, very excited. Yeah, man, absolutely. I mean, you know, and you got a new bass player, is that right? Yeah, so we uh, picked him up probably like, month or so ago he's from ballarat as well played in a few other bands but uh, we were searching for a new bass player and his name come up a couple of times so he come out and had a jam with us and that was pretty much locked and ready to go from there that's rare you know what i mean like yeah, find yeah. Bass player bass player the rare. <laughs> i know yeah. right and find one that can yeah. play this stuff and is dedicated and blah, 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 all that yeah. stuff so i mean what, what was he doing before that what band was he in Part right, of you guys. He's sort of uh, he was filling in for a little bit for Anticline, another really good hardcore band. They just finished up, but they were from Ballarat as well. Before that, there was another band, sort of prog band called Ebon Ivory, and oh. they they I think they finished up probably a couple of years ago. But um, yeah, he still was yeah still shredding on the bass and stuff, but not sort of in any band. So yeah, we just jumped on as soon as we could. <laughs> you you got to lock him down, hey, but especially you bass do, man, and yeah. drummers. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things. They, it's they're hard to find, and they're usually in like five other bands as well. So yeah. <laughs> we got yeah. lucky on this one. <laughs> we'll lock them down, lock them down. But uh, when was the last time you played Queensland? Yeah. Been a little while for that one. So we did, we yeah, so we did. It was sort of just after COVID, I reckon it was, just, and it started last year. I reckon just March or April, sort of around there. But it was sort of when the weather was. Remember, it was that, pe- that period of time when the weather was shocking, like yeah. like torrential rain and like it was flooding and stuff. So we played in Brisbane, and it was like we were like fucking ankle deep in water, like trekking to these shows and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was just after COVID. I remember that much. That was with the wandering and with Villafire, but. The wandering all got sort of COVID just before we had to leave. So it turned into just us to vilify. And then we all got COVID like one show in. And yeah, it wasn't good, eh? Hey? I remember that. Everyone was just dropping. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, exactly man. right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, this will be the first time since there. So hopefully the weather is a bit better this time around as well. Oh, it will be, man. I think the show is going to be really good. I mean, we're looking forward to playing with you guys. That's yeah, cool. we're excited to play with you guys as well. It's going to be heaps of fun. Yeah, man. we've never played on the Gold Coast. So, like I said before, I lived up there for a while, so I'm very excited to sort of come back and hopefully catch up with a few sort of familiar faces from when I lived there. But um, just to sort of get back to the Gold Coast and see it all again, it's going to be pretty fun as well. So yeah, very excited. You roped in the old crew, called everyone. Yeah, I'm hopefully a few of them will rock up. I don't really know what they're doing these days, but it'd be cool to see a few rock up. But um, yeah, no, it should be fun. As we mentioned before, you know uh, we've got uh, Amber. Our mutual friend Amber, good friend of her, her yep. band's playing as well on the Goldie. Serpentum, like yep. uh, black metal. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be so <laughs> good, man. I can't wait. Yeah, back, to back, and uh, you know, gonna have to recover for a few days afterwards. Yeah, because yeah, you boys are on uh, the Brisbane show as well, aren't you? Yes, we're doing the yeah, 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 yeah. Brisbane and with our uh, Resin Tomb and Show Card. That'll be a sick show. <laughs> Very cool show. Oh, both dude. those bands are fucking awesome, hey. And that new venue too. I haven't played there yet. Bad yeah, one. I've heard it's really good. Yeah, heard mm. good things. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I I stood out front of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I played <laughs> years a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't yeah. go in. 
but uh, it, everyone's saying how good it was. I think the chats yep. played there the other night. They did yeah. something there. Yeah, I think um, maybe King Parrot played there not long ago too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe it was sort of like the first night that um, it's sort of open. But last time we were there, we played Wooly Mammoth. That was a pretty cool venue as well. I do like the map. I don't know. Yeah, I felt, I don't think it, I think is it that closing down or something like that? But there no more. Yeah, yeah, that that was a cool venue. Yeah, we we played there. I think just before it closed, we did that with yeah. Frankie's too. So let's win. <laughs> that's not like a yeah. sign of, of things. It's like every time Rest we play it's Frankie's. Frankie's. That was awesome. <laughs> Curse of snake. <laughs> yeah, I'm stoked we got to play Frankie's actually. Yeah. <laughs> But no, excited. And Frankie's was sick. Frankie's was really good. Yeah. Event. Yeah, we did Frankie's on that last run. And yeah, we were all so crook, but it was just, yeah, we didn't care. It was just an awesome show. Hey, just on another level in that place. <laughs> it was one of the best nights I've ever had in my life. Like, yeah. it was just insane. And it's just that place yeah. forever. <laughs> you just go, yeah, there, yeah. And then you go again. Yeah. And there'd just be like a little yeah. turn. Man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Rest in peace. I love the curtain. Did you go down to the, the um, what's it called? The playroom or whatever down the yeah, back? Yeah, Did yeah, you yeah. Go in there? Yeah, it's pretty cool, hey? With the fancy toilet. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> with the lights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. But uh, you also did uh, no bragging rights as well. Was that the yeah, other Yeah, so we did, yeah, just did that just a week, uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, that was awesome. Really cool to play with. It's been a last international band we supported was Frontier in Melbourne last year. So cool to uh cool to yeah, support another international band on their run. But they were really nice dudes and yeah, awesome life. Man, man, I I would have loved to have seen that. I missed out. One of those bands I sort of hadn't listened to in such a long time. Like I remember getting into them like probably ten years ago or so and sort of um once I saw that they were coming, I sort of went back on and had a bit of a listen through their stuff again. Fuck, they were a good band, though, hey? Yeah, man. It's good times. And Frontier are sick, too. Yeah, they were wild. Crazy life. Man. See, it's funny about you guys. Well, not funny, but it's like you can cross the the genre boundaries, you know what I mean? You can play with yeah. bands like, uh, you know, the prog tech stuff. You can play with the hardcore stuff. You sort of sit right in that sort of middle where – you know, you can you can cross cross the streams, if you will. Like, is that something that you guys have set out to do purposely? Not not, to, no, not, not particularly, not. but it is cool. Yeah, like, we, we love it. Like, we sort of – we don't ever feel like we're sort of out of place. Like, even this next tour that we're doing, like, Zeno and Zero, uh, Zero Light are fucking – as death metal as you can sort of get. And we sort yeah, of yeah. sit more on that sort of – metal hardcore area but we still feel like we fit on shows with them but uh we love it we sort of get to play different bands all the time so it doesn't feel like we're sort of playing with the same bands every yeah, yeah. every weekend it might be like you know this weekend i'm playing with thrash bands and next weekend it's a hardcore show or something like that but um i think it's awesome yeah i really enjoy it, it just means we get to sort of you know we aren't pitching our holes pitching holes ourselves to play with sort of the same bands all the time so no it's awesome and of course i mean uh the Bones That Grew From Pain came out last year, and it's such a fucking killer record, man. Cheers, bro. And, Thank you. Dude, you know, how's it been sort of you've had time to sit with it and, you know, you're about to sort of really get out and support it. How, how are you feeling about it now? It's been out in the world for a while and, and people are still maybe getting onto it, you know? It's cool, yeah. I mean, we, we're all super proud of it. I sort of go through stages where I won't listen to it for a little while and then I'll put it back on and I'm like, this is a cool record, but um, yeah, we're all excited. The, the new stuff's so fun to play live as well, which is like a big sort of part of our music. Like, it's sort of made for made for playing live. So, no, nah, we're we're excited to play. We're, we're playing a fair few tracks off the new album, so it's um, yeah, very excited to sort of yeah be able to do it. I can't wait to hear some of that stuff live, man. Yeah, it makes me. Sick. It just makes you. I don't know. I guess because you're on stage, it's sort of different. But I don't know when you're in the crowd, it makes you want to just. Fucking Ray J, that stuff, eh? Yeah, that's all we want. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the job. I can't wait to be in yeah, there, man. Yeah, if nice if you're raging the crowds, we've uh, we've uh, done our part. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> done. You're tired. But um, of course, signing to Metal Blade Records, you know that's you know the dream for any band. But how how how's that experience been? How has how have they sort of supported you over the last year since the album's come out and you know gotten behind you? Yeah, it's been awesome. We've got a really good team behind us. When we sort of um, 
when we found out we, it was all happening, we were sort of like, you know, what the hell? Like, it, it's still, I still sort of pinch myself every time I get an email or something like that. We get to work really close with Ryan Williams, who used to be the Black Dahlia murder. So he's sort of like, yeah, our over there sort of person. It's like, even just getting to talk, like, to get to talk to him, I've got to try not to sort of uh, fan girl too much. But um, <laughs> nah, they're really good. They support us. They like, they love what we're doing. And um, yeah, they just want to see us succeed. So yeah, it's, it's, yeah, really good crew behind us. And of course, I mean, when it came to actually, signing the contracts and things like that you know obviously it's something you want to jump in and just go give me the pen and do the thing but was there a bit more of a a process behind it you know you you guys got um some advice legally and stuff like that obviously from both was that 100 is there bands out there that that uh maybe about to go through the same thing what advice would you sort of give them in that like you said too don't just jump straight into it really read through your contracts the big thing that they sort of said to us beforehand was like get yourselves a good lawyer and get them to go through the contracts like basically we won't accept your contracts until we know someone else has looked over them so we we got ourselves a really good um a a lawyer from sydney and he went through our contracts just to make sure everything was sort of you know there's no details that we sort of didn't didn't know what they were talking about anything like that but um after that we sort of we uh, I guess change a few things in the contract to see what we could sort of like, you know, move around and that, and then sent it back and they sort of said yes or no to this and that. And we could sort of come to an agreement, but um, yeah, I definitely say if you are just take the time to read through it properly, like as exciting as it is and like as crazy as it is, it's like, just make sure that like, you know exactly what you're in for and what's expected. Like <clears throat> talk to other people in band in big bands, if you have to like just get advice and stuff, but definitely get yourself a good lawyer and actually go through it properly. Like, so everyone in the band knows what's expected, what's coming up and sort of what the label's actually going to do for you. Hearing you say that also, that, that makes my respect for the label go through the roof as well. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's like, what we just really like for us. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, right. One of the first things Ryan said to us is like, cause we said straight away, we're like, yeah, dude, we're in, let's do it. And he said, yeah. That's awesome, but I'm not accepting your contract until you get it signed and like looked over by a lawyer. So they were looking out for us. And like I said, too, it meant that we could sort of like <clears throat> our lawyer said to us, Well, what about this and that? I reckon we could sort of ask for more, we could change this, and then we sort of sent it back and then their lawyers looked at it and it sort of yeah, went back yeah. and forth. We sort of got to a point where we we're like, Yeah, we're happy with this. See, because it's 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 one of those things where I guess there is a lot of labels out there that would just be like no, no, no. If you want it, you got to sign it. It'd be like, you know, yeah, exactly. a car yeah. or, you know, like uh, you're going to buy a, <laughs> you know, it's any contract. So that's, yeah, that's, and this, really cool. this isn't yeah. like any page or something. This is like, you know, 30 pages of writing. Like some of the stuff I had no idea what I was reading. So it was good to actually get someone else looking and say, well, this is what this means and this is yeah. what they're going to do and this is what they're asking for. And this is what you guys get. So, what's yeah, this? No, really cool. What's this bit about my soul? Uh, yeah, haven't got yeah. one. Just take it anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, exactly. Let's, let's roll. Let's roll. Yeah, um, how much blood do you need? Yeah, that's it. Uh, well, it's enough of me, so have it all. But um, <laughs> good times, man. Good times. But uh, of course, with that, have you had any other bands on the label that have sort of sussed you guys out and, and sort of touched base and been like, hey, guys, like, you know, we're label mates. You know, band that made a little it- bit, yeah, yep, a little bit. I think because we're still sort of like one of the smaller bands on the label, but um, in Jeffs that have sort of reached out a little bit, so they really liked our new record, and it was sort of like they might like some of the stuff we post and that sort of thing. Another band called Kardashev, I'm not sure if you maybe sussed them out before. Yeah, yeah, no. He's a vocal, he does like that Cardavox, the vocal, he's like a vocal sort of trainer, but same thing too. He's reached out a few times and said, like, love the band and love you guys are doing so. Um, Still waiting for like Cannibal Corpse or someone like that to sort of <laughs> uh, know who we are. But yeah, a few bands have sort of, yeah, liked our stuff and said, yeah, really like the record and that, which is pretty cool. That'd be one that, yeah, George, old George, yeah. you call. Yeah. <laughs> you just know by the name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'd be the best. That'd be the best. It's going to happen. It's gonna happen. It's yeah, happen. hopefully. Or even like Black Daily Bird or something like that. would be so sick. But, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> I love that band. And well that's yeah. obviously the name of the podcast is after Black Dahlia, of course. Yeah. Trevor, rest in peace. Yeah. But, um, 
Man, that'd be sick. Hey, how hey, yeah. what? How sick? So fucking Black Dahlia, Nicholas Cage fighter yeah. to a B man. Just putting it out there. Just yeah. out there. We're Spend ready. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> but do you feel like you know things are starting to move forward now that we've sort of come out of that little period of time where everything was locking down and everything like that, and the album's out? Do you feel like that you know the the train's starting to finally, you know? leave the station and, and things are opening up for you? Absolutely. And I think now that we're sort of, um, we've sort of got a team behind us that are really sort of helping us in those areas, which like, we, you know, we were sort of t- doing ourselves. So like the uh, looking for shows and sort of that sort of thing. So it's good to have people that are, you know, trying to push us forward and like, you know, you know, other parts of the world. And like, we're already sort of doing pre- pre-production on the next album and getting that sort of thing um, organized. So yeah, it's, um, it feels like we've got a lot of cool stuff in the works and like a lot of stuff we're sort of planning. So it's good now to have, yeah, the team behind us to sort of say like sort of guide us in the right direction. Like this is what you need to do or just helping to link up with the right people and that sort of thing. You mentioned two things, obviously pre-production on a new album. That's yeah. going. Yeah. It's going to be huge. Yeah. We're probably like, six songs into pre-production so sick. But without sort of saying too much but our plan is we'll probably record the new album in the next few months i reckon and then i'll uh, drop that next year and then um yeah can't say too much either but yes yeah, so and definitely some works in the place for shows outside of australia as well so really is that, yeah is a little bit happened the first time for, for new yeah year. this is our first time yeah we've toured australia heaps of times but yeah. haven't had a we've sort of a few opportunities have come up to go overseas and it was sort of just after COVID. So stuff just sort of fell through all the time or that sort of thing. I think it was sort of a lot of uh, booking agents sort of taking gambles and trying to bring bands over from especially like Ballarat. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, lot, lots of stuff in the works, but um, it also will reveal itself later this year, I think. That's sick. And I saw you got uh, yeah. guitar pick endorsement as well. Yeah, super cool. So working with Intune guitar picks from somewhere in America, I should know that. But um, yeah, making some wicked picks, NCF logo on that on, which is pretty cool. I saw that. I <laughs> Although I did like... try, I did try to throw one out in the crowd at uh, when we played for off the Fury, the wind picked it up, and just blew it straight back at me. So <laughs> did someone film? I don't know what I'll do like, next time. I need a heavy pick. Imagine you catching it. <laughs> yeah, some of the crowd was like, that was so like... shit. Yeah, they were like, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I have to grab one off you when you're up here. Absolutely. Pick a destiny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a necklace or something. Yeah, I should. Actually, I've got to pick a destiny around here somewhere. I should trade you. But, um, uh, of course, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you get asked all the time. The name, of course, Nicolas Cage Fighter. Now, uh, everyone knows Nicolas Cage is actually a metalhead. I've interviewed his son, Weston. And talking about metal with yeah, his son. Yeah. So has he reached out to you at all? Have you heard from his camp? Nah. No, I, and I hope he has checked out the band. Like, I, I'd love to find out if he has or not. But um, I don't know if he really does much social media stuff. So, But I, I feel like someone would have had to say, yo, there's a band named after you. Hey, like, a, I don't know. I just, I feel like it would have had to have happened. But um, no, nah, nothing yet. Maybe one day, but You'll just rock up yet. at a show. Because I know him and his son yeah. go to like heaps of shows. Like his, yeah. his son Weston was saying that they just they just go to metal shows together. Like I was is it, a, like, is it a black metal band? He was in a black metal band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now yeah. he does sort of like his solo stuff. And it's really cool. It's yeah. really cool stuff. Yeah. But um that, hey, you never know, man. He just he might rock up be in his life. Yeah, or even like just one of our songs in like a Nicholas Cage movie would be sick. That'd be sick. <laughs> hey, yeah. make it happen. Make it yeah, happen. Yeah, on air too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon he'd like it. I reckon he'd like it. Yeah. I recently spoke to uh, Rob from Don Broco, and they wrote a song about uh, Bruce Willis. Oh, and um, apparently yeah. it got back to him, and he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <I'm> not impressed. <laughs> yeah, it, could, it could go that way as well. Nick, yeah. Nick, this guy's trying to like, fuck is this? <laughs> It was. It's a good. It's a cool track. It's a cool track. I'll put my face on t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, should. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, of, of, of course, I mean, uh, you know, what else is what else is on the cards apart from all that? You know, you got this tour coming up. 
you know, pre-production. Yeah, so just yeah, exactly right. Really, just focusing on getting this album stuff uh, sort of finalized before we go into the studio. Just mm-hmm. sort of working out details on like where we're going to produce and that all that sort of stuff. And then, um, yeah, we're we've got some more tools in the works to sort of later in the year and hopefully get it overseas at some point. Yep. But that's sort of yeah, the main the main stuff at the moment is just new album and yeah, work out these next tours. Plenty of merch. You bringing bringing heaps heaps of merchandise with you. Got heaps of merch. Yeah, yep, heaps of merch for this run. So it should be good. Yeah, awesome, man. Awesome. I can't wait. Yeah. We're looking forward to having a beer with you guys. So that's you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's gonna be awesome. Man, can't wait. Can't wait. Well, uh, bro, it's been awesome hanging out with you on the show. We'll have all the links down here uh, to the tour, mate. I hope you uh, and the boys have the best kick off. Just go and smoke. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. Well, uh, I'll see you in where are we at Goldie first or Brisbane? Brisbane, bad, yeah, yeah bad luck. Brisbane. Yeah, yep. bad luck. Fifth, I think it's. Awesome. Thanks for having me on, bro. Know that. That's all right. Yeah, hey, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> long time coming, man. But uh, yeah, we'll have we'll have all the links and uh, take care, man. Awesome. I'll see you soon.